Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Two Dicks Exposed. I am your host, not Mike, and today joining me on the couch, we have the pretty little man over here, Orange Joe. Say hello, Orange Joe. Hello, I am Orange Joe. So, what we're talking about today is is something that drastically, drastically changed the world. So, it was the winter, 1998. I remember it, like, vividly, sitting on our couch in front of a window, mm-hmm. And our mom hands us two very similar sized boxes and says, Merry Christmas. Shivers. Right shivers. Now. Shivers. Shivers. It's like we're reliving it. Inside those boxes was not only two brand new Game Boys, but Pokemon Red and Blue. It was by far the most exciting thing to happen in my life. Yeah. It, At it, that it, point in time. So, I mean, just jumping right into this, I got to ask because... You know, we, we got to start this episode the same way that a Pokemon trainer starts. Yeah. You're presented three Pokemon. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God. So, we got Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander. Mm-hmm. Who was who was your original go-to? I think I always went with Charmander first. Charmander? Yeah. yeah. Charmander was always my go-to. That's who I picked. Because mm-hmm. he was a dragon. And let's be honest. Like, yeah. I was eight. You were, six, what, four? Yes. Four? Three yeah. to four. Yeah. I was an age. Yeah. You were younger <laughs> than me. But he was a dragon. Yeah. Like, you had to pick the dragon. Because mm-hmm. um, if you're given the choice between a little toad, yeah. a lizard, or a turtle, obviously you're going to say, okay, this one breathes fire. I'm going to choose that one. Exactly. Just easy choice. Exactly. And when you think about it in the broad scheme of things, Jarmander's probably the worst Pokemon to pick. Yeah. Because he does nothing against Brock. Mm-hmm. Does nothing against Misty. He kind of helps against Lieutenant Surge. He's like, I don't know, better than Squirtle, worse than Venusaur. Um, and then, I mean, Erica is really like the first time where Charizard comes in like clutch. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of our friends were pretty much split between Squirtle and Charmander. Mm-hmm. And then Bulbasaur just had a really weird cult following. Mm-hmm. Like, and I mean, like, they will cut you if you say anything bad about Bulbasaur. Yeah. And I never really understood that. And yeah, the weird thing is, like, it's always just Bulbasaur. It's not like you like the entire line. It's no, 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 no. Ivysaur and Venusaur are fine, but like Bulbasaur, it's, that's where I get yes, it. Yes, it is Bulbasaur. Yeah. And it's funny, too, like, thinking into it, even in the anime, Ash is like, no, <laughs> I'm fuck you. Not evolving. Keeping Bulbasaur, mm-hmm. not evolving. Terrible so, in the games. He wouldn't, I don't, he wouldn't make it anywhere far. I don't know how no. we got that far. I mean, so I, I can say this, though. I Later on in life, when I was like, no, oh, I guess it was after like Fire Red came mm-hmm. out, I restarted the game and I was like, let me play with Bulbasaur just because I've never played with Bulbasaur before. Yeah. But I hate Ivysaur and Venusaur. So I literally was rolling up to the Elite Four at the end of the game with like a level 74 Bulbasaur who knew like everything. Uh, his defense was horrible. Mm-hmm. Is well. Everything was Everything horrible. Was horrible. His speed is garbage. Right, but he had like all of the best attacks because mm-hmm. he learned Solar Beam at like level 30 or something. So yeah. I was able to just kind of like stomp through mm-hmm. stuff. <laughs> I mean, just starting off, I think that was, we were in a world where like we didn't know it was going to happen. We got this game. We were given nothing. This was before like the era of strategy guys that we could afford because we were under 10 years old. Like game facts was unknown to us for a little while. So we were kind of just like, here, figure it out. We didn't really know what we were doing. Dude, our our strategy guide was one of our friends who was about five years older mm-hmm. than us who beat the game in like a week and was running through everything. I, I remember I got to the Elite Four and we went over to their house and he was the first person I knew that had a link cable. Mm-hmm. So he was like, hey, you want to battle with us? And I was like, I was like, yeah, you won't be able to beat my team, bro. <laughs> And then, like, his first Pokemon he drops is Mewtwo. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And he's like, oh, yeah, you get it after you beat the Elite Four. And I'm like, the what now? Squeeze me. Like, <laughs> I was like, you have a psychic cat over here. And my dragon just died in one shot. And, of course, that's also after one of the other greatest uh, glitches in this game is missing. No. So you just pump your Pokemon full of candy. Mm-hmm. You just give them the Beatus, like, right off the bat. <laughs> but... What you don't realize until you're a little bit older is a Pokemon raised with rare candy doesn't get those extra, like, EV stat points. Mm-hmm. So, like, sure, he's level 100, but he has, like, the stat points yeah, of, like, a, a of 50, yeah. like, a level 50. It's You have to, like, pump in, like, the proteins and the... Wow, what were the other two? 
Yeah, like later protein, on, it's like protein, iron, iron and zinc, calcium, heroin. Yeah, yeah, one of those things. One of those things. Um, but like I said, we were like eight years old. Yeah, we were eight. So we, we did all right. We did all right. Um, so so walk me walk me through your journey. Like, well, a lot of the journey, I for the first probably month, I was stuck in the original town trying to figure out how to get the old man to move out of the way, you know, so we could get into Viridian Forest. So, you know, oh, the you, guy who was trying yeah. to train you? Yeah, you get like, your starter hey, Pokemon. Get your, Pokemon. Yeah. get your starter Pokemon. You go ahead. You know, Oak's like, okay, let's name him. Battle Gary, everything like that. And then you get to the town. And there's your first real, like... Okay, video games actually have strategy. You don't just like go and do things. So this mm-hmm. guy's like, "Oh, I'm sick. I'm laying in the road. What do I do?" And you're like, "Okay, I don't know how to do any of this. What, We're children. What do, what, do? what do we do? We have no thought process there." Hold on, you skipped over one of the most important aspects of this game. What was your rival's name, and why was it Buttface? Buttface was the second one. I feel like my first run was always Gary, and my name was always either like Ash or Red. Okay. Okay. I think my name, I, I did say Pat was my name in that, mm-hmm. but Gary was always butt face <laughs> because I was like, because there's nothing funnier as an eight year old. It's like, you know, his grandpa is going, oh, butt face, yeah. you know, blah, blah, blah. And it sucks because they did nerf that in mm-hmm. the later games. Like you yeah. weren't allowed to use bad names. You're connected to the internet. They're like, you can't use that. That's going to be insensitive. Like, right. come on, calm down. No one, no one's offended by butt faces. Yes. Yeah. Except for. You know, the crimson chin, maybe. The crimson chin. He does have a giant butt chin. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, yes. so so one of the other cool things that uh, the original Pokemon game did was um, the, the, the timeline and how all of this happened. So, obviously, Japan was ahead of us because this was created in Japan. They get mm-hmm. the good stuff first. So, Pokemon Red and Green came out in Japan in 1996. Um might be pulling this out of my ass, might be true. I don't know. You can fact check me. But the games weren't doing that well, so they decided to create the anime to help sell the games. So the anime in Japan came out one year later, 1997. Mm -hmm. Now, at this point, Red and Blue had not come over to the States yet. So they were thinking about that, and they were like, well, what's the best way that we can make sure this game, like, hits the floor running and just takes off, like, immediately? And so what they did was they released the anime in the States in, uh, what was it? It was like five months before the game came out or yeah. something like mm-hmm. that. So the United States of America actually got the Pokemon like 4chan, no, not 4chan, 4kids, 4kids yeah, version, kids dub. the 4kids dub. We got that first. So we were able to watch Ash get attached to him and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And then when the games came out, like freaking wildfire like i remember it now like you could not find the games unless you your parents were like camped out at a wall well not even really walmart but like a we had a kmart what was it like eb games like what was the original like old like retailers you had to do yeah, eb games sounds right like toys r us yeah toys r us my toys God. r us oh, these um, are close now yeah but I mean, it was like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I, I want to say our mom and dad actually like went to the store at like two or three o'clock in the morning and waited in line like the like it was Pokemon, Furbies and Tickle Me Elmo. That yeah. were like the, the big <laughs> toys of our childhood. Um, but no, it's crazy. Yeah. It's hard to think that they were so worried this game was going to sell that they had to like remarket and redo mm-hmm. everything. So. Most of everyone probably knows listening to this if you're, you know, older than like 20 years old. But we were supposed to get Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green. Those were the original things. It was, you know, two games in Japan. It was Bulbasaur on the cover and then Charmander on the cover. They were so worried that the colors would cause an impact to sales in the U.S. They actually changed it from being Pokemon Green to Pokemon Blue because they're like, okay, the American flag, red, white, and blue. If we release Pokemon Red and Blue, Mm -hmm. maybe we'll get better sales. So just looking back, kind of thing like them being worried that Pokemon is going to sell. Where now it's just like you can't walk down the street without seeing, you know, a kid with a shirt on or like hearing about it. Like mm-hmm. multi millionaires are out there now, like selling Pokemon cards, like Logan Paul. And yeah. it's just like, how did this? Like, how did they even think this wasn't going to happen? Yeah, it's, I don't know, dude. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Just the fact that the fact that anime has become so widespread mm-hmm. in America, and I, I do think Pokemon played a huge part in that you know, back in the day, like besides Sailor Moon, Gundam and Dragon Ball Z, like yeah. it's Pokemon. Like that's what you got. Mm-hmm. And thanks to Pokemon, we got Digimon. Yeah. Pretty much. Cause 
Fox was like, we need something. We need something. We need something to fight them. Um, so, but getting back to the games, because yes. we got to get back to Red yes. and Blue. There's so much to talk about with this. I mean, this is the first time we were really able to play through the game and beat the anime. Because mm-hmm. through the anime, we met Brock, we met Misty, which is, it was really fun playing the game and getting to see them actually as the gym leader. Mm-hmm. And like, as as a kid, I was very hopeful they were going to leave the gym yep. and like follow come us. With you. <laughs> Obviously, that did not happen. Um, but, you know, we got to see them. And then we actually got to go further in the game than what the the show was coming mm-hmm. at the time. So I think when the game came out, the show was probably around like the SSN, you know, episode where like the, they ride on the cruise ship yep. owned by rocket who sinks and then all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I think that was around when the game came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just remember seeing that. And then in the game playing it and getting past the SSN and being like, Oh, there's a, a grass gym leader mm-hmm. coming in a psychic gym leader and you know this ghost town and mm-hmm. i'm like we know this. like i can't wait to see this mm-hmm. in the anime except for the whole cubone story i was like god i hope they don't put this in the anime yeah. it's crazy just going through it. and i i think i've been thinking since we've been sitting on this couch like how many stupid decisions and like everything i did in pokemon because i was trying to think like okay it's like the anime what if we do this like i was always like hoping there was a secret thing inside the gym like you were in where you could talk to a gym leader, get like a special Pokemon or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember like when Togepi came out too with like Missy in the anime, I was like, there's got to be a way we can get these in the games. But it wasn't even like out before Gold and Silver came out later on. Yeah, And I I also remember uh, when I played through the game, I called a wild Clefable. Mm -hmm. I thought that was dope because like it just, it became the powerhouse of my mm-hmm. team for the longest time. And not because it was strong, but just because its defense was stupid mm-hmm. and it knew metronome. So it could just randomly Easy. bust out like a, a fire blast or mm-hmm. a hyper beam or like anything. I just thought it was like the coolest, unique Pokemon ever. Um, and then one thing I accidentally did stumble into too was the, uh, the nugget trick. Do you remember nugget road? Oh, you just like kept losing to the last yeah. person. Yeah. So I made it through all of them. And I like breezed through all of them with like mm-hmm. half of my team. Well, I say breezed, but like half of my team died. And mm-hmm. then I got to the rocket guy at the end and I just like got killed by him. I yeah. was like, well, Scrooge McDuck this. So like I went back and I got another nugget and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, well, that's kind of cool. So like I purposely lost again mm-hmm. and I was like, oh my God, I'm just getting infinite money here. Just so I did it like five or days. six times. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and then I think I spent the next week and a half mm-hmm. trying to catch an Abra in that like little patch of grass yeah. right above it because that mother son of a gun always teleports if you miss mm-hmm. like, and of course all you have is pokeballs at the time. So it's like, um, yeah. And then, well, because of Abra, then you had to learn the whole, uh, switch out your first Pokemon to gain experience thing. That was definitely a rough one. I think yeah. that has had a permanent impact on me through current Pokemon. My rule of thumb is first playthrough only attacks that damage mm-hmm. like i won't use any effect ones or any ones that like lower or raise attack or defense because i'm just like i just want to have fun i want to see the cool attacks i'm going to use ember on water pokemon and it's gonna it's gonna be fine to this day i do not use any kind of stat changing yeah. abilities except i think sleep powder was the only thing yeah sleep powder and hypnosis are the only two non-damaging attacks mm-hmm. i've ever used because yeah. i am just a brute i hate it mm-hmm. um but um, going back to the uh, the Nugget Bridge, I don't know if you did this too, but I remember trying to buy a bicycle without <laughs> yeah. the voucher. Yep. Like, yeah, this is $99,000. Like, okay, I can do this. So I'd, I'd go, I'd battle all the turns. Like, I'm like $80,000. <laughs> I'm like $800,000. How do people do this? And then they short. give it to you for free. And I'm like, I probably wasted a good week and a half mm-hmm. on this. Yeah. Well, that was another thing too. Like, so our, the buddy I talked about earlier that played mm-hmm. the game, like, so far ahead of us, I remember looking over his shoulder and they're riding around on the bike. Mm-hmm. So when we found it for the 999000 or whatever, I was just like, wow, he actually got that money mm-hmm. and bought this bike. I was like, there there has to be a way to do this. Mm-hmm. All right. So jumping ahead a little bit. Yes. So we're, we're in Cerulean City right now. Mm-hmm. You know, we beat Misty. We got our bike, got our SSN ticket. We're, we're driving down south. And we come into, uh, <laughs> yeah, because that's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Um, we drive into, uh, what was it, Saf? So, mm, Lieutenant Surge. Is it Celadon? Celadon. Celadon? Yes. Okay. We're going to dub this over if we get yeah. it wrong later on. Here, just make mouth movements yes. and we can add it in. City. 
Yes. Um, which is still to this day, I think the most annoying gym in the world. Cause it's yeah. that you have the trash cans mm-hmm. and you have to go around and you have to hit the trash cans in the right order. Mm-hmm. And I, firm, mm-hmm. I hated it. Yeah. I hated it. Um, and then he also had, it's Vermilion city Vermilion. We were closely mm-hmm. wrong. We were very, they're all colors. Wrong. They're fine. Also yeah. speaking of which, since I was like four years old with like no brain development, when I was like, oh, these are all colors, and it's because the first town is Pallet Town, I was like, blown. It shattered my existence. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Please don't yeah. tell me you're no, just I, realizing this. Yes. I, I knew they were all <laughs> colors, but it didn't occur to me that Pallet Town is like the palette. I'm gonna... just realizing both of these things. So. <laughs> oh, my God. So just like we made fun of Not Pat for having the TikTok about him getting lost in Viridian Forest, you know this is going to happen to you. No, I, I don't care what you say. <laughs> getting lost in Vermilion Forest is stupider than this. Yeah. Yeah. But you hear back that, to Not Lieutenant Pat. Surge, though. Um, when I found out the trash can trick was it's always just one trash can away, Yep. I was like, so it's not random and my life is a lie. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was uh, feels bad. It sucked. Yeah. It sucked. And I was also mad because at that point he had a Raichu and all I had was a Pikachu mm-hmm. and no ability to get a Thunderstone. Yeah. So, you know, that sucked. Yeah. Because let's be honest, we all had the same team at this point. Mm-hmm. We had our starter Pokemon. Yep. We probably had a Pidgeotto. For sure. Uh, we had a Zubat, Clefairy, or Clefable, mm-hmm. or Jigglypuff. I think you could catch a Jigglypuff at that point. Yeah. I also don't think any of our friends, like I remember playing back in the day, I don't know a single person that was like, I don't want a Caterpie. I'm going to choose a Weedle. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, you definitely you had a Butterfree. Ash. By the time you're like playing the game, you see the Bye Bye Butterfree episode, yeah. you're like, I, I need well, it. That's that's one of the variations, mm-hmm. though, because Pokemon Red had Caterpie, Pokemon mm-hmm. Blue had Weedle. Yeah. So that was a... Uh, you know, you didn't get the choice. Yeah. You didn't get the choice. So. Although we did have a buddy who like loved Beedrill. Mm-hmm. Like he, Beedrill was his main, I think, up through like gym seven. Mm-hmm. And then he finally tossed him. I mean, he's also the guy who started with the Bulbasaur. Yeah. So we, <laughs> I just, I need to reach out to him and see what mm-hmm. his final six were just because it's probably the most stupid thing in the world. Yeah. Um, Like I guarantee you, he had like a Tauros on there just because why not? Probably. Um, but yeah, and so then we yeah. get to the SSN. Mm-hmm. So at this point, I had heard the rumor that you could get Mew by moving the truck yep. right next to the SSN. Um, so the way you had to do that was you had to get on the SSN, run through, get HMO one cut, mm-hmm. um, you know, beat everyone, get all the money and stuff like that. But then you have to die. So when you die, you go back to the uh, the Vermilion city. Mm -hmm. And then you can still run down, hop over to the Island next to it, Mm -hmm. and you know, push the truck. Spoiler alert. That does not work, but I felt like that was something that needed to be mentioned in this playthrough or this, this show. Yes. That was the, like, I think the funnest part about like playing games as a kid, like you're not smart enough to fact check things and everything seems possible. So, like, when you're, like, at school and people are like, oh, you got to do X, Y, and Z, or, like, you can't evolve this Pokemon unless you have, like, one HP left and you get five criticals and stuff like that, which that is an actual mechanic right now, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that Surfetch? Yeah, Surfetch. You have to get X amount of criticals in a row and then have him level up. It's nonsense. But it was always fun. And I think that's because – so, for Mew, if I'm remembering correctly, there was only, like, one official way to, like, get it. You had to get a ticket from – like a game store that was a voucher and they had to like trade it to you at the store. There was some Something like giveaway weird like that. Now I know mm-hmm. there is a, a working glitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where it's, you have to, you have to like, so after nugget road, there's like the trainer, the trainer gauntlet yeah. road. You have to like get through there, not battle any of the trainers, like save at a location, fly to Ecritic city and like, walk over x amount of squares on like that and like when you go from ecruteque to the the next like route Ecritique. it like flashes ecruteque is the next lavender one. town La- not ecruteque it, it's the ghost town with the creepy music it's whatever's in between the ghost town and the psychic town mm-hmm. there's like a little patch of grass there at the bottom of like a root something something yeah. mm-hmm. and you have to use cut to get into the grass and oh, it's been a while but there, it's something about like you have to get into the grass, cut down the tree, mm-hmm. stand where the tree was, use teleport, 
and then if you come back now a mew is still a mew appears in that yeah like as you're walking it just yeah. like the screen pops up and then it, you just battle yeah yeah um something else that apparently was data mined that they took out of the game was you could fight professor oak mm -hmm. so um i i'm not even going to begin to tell you how that glitch got around but i think that was supposed to be something where after you beat the elite four that was one of the extras or mm -hmm. no it was when you called 150 yeah pokemon you came back and you could fight professor oak and mm -hmm. he had full evolutions of the original three yep and i think you could choose another starter pokemon after you beat him but then they ended up like nixing that entire idea mm -hmm. but i think that was incorporated kind of into um silver and gold mm-hmm because uh, in Silver and Gold, after you beat the original gameplay, you could run back to Kanto and beat all the original first yeah, eight else. gems. Mm -hmm. And when you did that, then you got to go back to Professor Oak and you got to pick a starter Pokemon from Kanto. Yeah. God. I, I miss these I games. I miss these games. That's like, why, like, I, I have Fire Red and Leaf Green, like, on my bookshelf. And, like, every once in a while, I just go back. That, like... <laughs> This is going to sound like I'm very, like, things were better in the past. But, like, Pokemon games in the past were, like, here's one thing. This is going to entertain you for hours. There's no DLC. Like, here's game one. You beat it. Here's a second game. So, like that. Like, obviously, Pokemon Red and Blue weren't like that. But Gold and Silver, and we'll get into this at a later point in time. But you just have things to do. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. It's, I don't know. I feel like the newer games are a little bit too spoon-fed to you, too. Yeah. Like, it's very much like you go into a city and someone immediately approaches you and mm -hmm. says, Hey, this is what I need you to do in yeah. this city. You know, in Pokemon red and blue is like you run into a city and you're like, all right, there's a gym here and the gym's blocked. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I do? Cause there's yeah. no one here to tell me, you know, anything like, um, like Celadon city with, I think that's the one with Sabrina, right? We're, we're going to get fact but, but let's just, we're going right, to yeah. right now. I, like her, gym was blocked off too wasn't mm -hmm. it it had the uh, you had to use cut to get down into there no no i mean like her actual building oh, Sabrina, there was like an old erica. guy standing in front of the building mm -hmm. celadon is erica celadon's yeah. erica sabrina is saffron saffron we're doing great guys um we promise we know pokemon but yeah there was yes there was an old guy mm -hmm. standing in front of the building no i'm wrong i thought you had to give him a, a soda pop but that's the guard desk to get into the town yes oh my god we'll get back to you guys yeah we're gonna we'll, come we'll back. figure it out 1996 so that was what 20 celadon has the bike seven path years ago that's blocked that's the one with the long bike mm -hmm. path right the the bike path goes from the the city one which gold is, not golden rod golden rod is no golden rod is the second one the second man get, the bike path goes from celadon to fuchsia okay Saffron's the big city one in the middle. That's where Sabrina. That's where Sabrina. Yeah, that's is. where like the big mall is, and the okay. gambling corner. <laughs> Our first introduction oh, to gambling. gambling. Still yeah. don't know how they got that over on a channel. Gambling's game. in Celadon, not Saffron. Yeah, gambling's in Celadon. Um, so I'll get a cut. I feel like S Saffron had nothing in it besides the big city, and you can get the hit only Hemo Chan. That's it. Yes, you can that's get him like on Lee. Nothing else, in um, that and you can get the TM for Psychic. Oh, that was a big deal back yeah. then, Brian. That was like one Psychic of the most powerful like, attacks yeah. in the first game. It's like Psychic and Flamethrower, Thunder, um, Solar Beam, Hyper Beam. But can't you just learn Psychic? Not yeah, but there's like barely any Not Psychic all Pokemon. Of them. Plus, back then it was like, well, and I think even still now, like you have to keep early evolutions and evolve them past their evolutionary level to earn like their big attack. Like, uh, who was it? Like Eevee's like Eevee. You could only learn some of his like, like quick attack and stuff like that. If you raised him up past level 30 before you evolved him. Mm -hmm. Um, but on the flip side, you had to evolve an Eevee at like level five. If you wanted him to learn like their like, attacks in their thunder, evolution. thunderbolt or mm -hmm. anything like that, or like water gun. Which you couldn't do until the second game, because mm -hmm. I think you got Eevee at level 25? I want to say 20. 20? Yeah. Um, all right, so, I mean, we're basically there. Yeah. We, uh... So, you know, after you figure out that you can't get past Snorlax, mm -hmm. you end up running up to uh, the, um, the, uh, the, the Dark Cave. Yes. Can't remember what that's called. Rock um, Tunnel. Rock Tunnel. 
So yeah, we come out of the the rock tunnel, mm-hmm. um, and actually that spits us out into Vermilion City, which probably has like the the creepiest music as a kid. Like it's just like there's lavender or lavender. Yeah. I'm sorry, lavender. The ghost town mm-hmm. with like, you know the the Pokemon cemetery. Mm-hmm. So you're like, oh, do my Pokemon die? Mm-hmm. Like, do you remember like, uh, like the rumors as a kid? Like kids were having nightmares because they kept like listening to the like the do do do. Too. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, oh my god, the kids are having nightmares because Pokemon. As yeah, if they're, I, mean, yeah. I had nightmares about that. Like, it was oh yeah, creepy. yeah. As um, if there weren't enough reasons for parents to hate Pokemon in the U.S. at that time. They're mm-hmm. like, they've got the flashing colors on the TV. There's the episode with the gun being pointed at Ash. <laughs> yeah. All the propaganda. Yeah, I mean, we can when we talk about the anime, we can go into like the band episodes because mm-hmm. those are pretty fucking like wild. Yeah, but um, but back to Lavender Town. Back to Lavender yeah. Town. So. Lavender Town was pretty dope because mm-hmm. I got Gengar. Or, well, I call it a haunter, a yeah. wild mm-hmm. haunter in the, the tower. And that haunter stayed with me like through the Elite mm-hmm. Four. Like, Gengar became one of my top six. And I, I freaking love him because you just hypnosis and dream eater. And then you have two other moves that don't even matter what yeah. they are because you don't use them. You just sit there, put them to sleep, and heal yourself. And, um, and then also, like, definitely fucked with Marowak because, yes. like, after waiting or wasting so many Pokeballs on the the spirit, like the mm-hmm. mother spirit trying to catch him, only to like as I'm running out, I ran into a Q bone and I was mm-hmm. like, Okay, okay, yeah. I can see how this becomes that. You know, I'm gonna do this. So I called it Q bone, raised it into a Marowak mm-hmm. and just like bone meringue and bone club, yeah. you know. Like I, it carried me. I love the Pokemon where it's like it's just only this one Pokemon has that attack. Yes. I'm gonna use it and it's great. It's great. It's great. Um Oh, we should just talk about like so in this game, there's a series of Pokemon where you just get one of those Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously we'll get to Eevee, but we'll save for that sure. for last. Yeah. Um, you got Snorlax. Mm-hmm. You got Lapras. Yep. You got Mr. Mime. You got... I'm well, not, I'm not like, a fan of Mr. Mime. You're not a Mime fan? Always you don't like Mimey? Me. No, I don't. Uh, I think the anime made it worse. But once again, back to that in a second. Hey, Mr. Mime saved Ash's mom. She would be saved. <laughs> don't don't go down those creepy roads. Don't, don't do that. This I is don't a know. I don't trust podcast. anything that happens in Palatown. I don't trust Professor Oak or Professor Mr. Oak is Ash's dad. I think For, we I all mean, can obviously. just come to terms with that. Yeah. And Ash and Gary are brothers, half brothers. Yes. That's why they hate each other. Head so cannon. Yep. You heard it here first. What, one of Pokemon. One. Yeah. What? Yeah. What else was there that? Po- you so okay. So you got Eevee. Yep. Uh, Mr. Mime. Yep. Snorlax, Lapras, Lapras. Snorlax. Porygon. I thought you called Porygon. No, you bought Porygon. You had to buy Porygon casino. from the casino. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Which another thing. Yeah, I had the, so much time spent. I, I got to that town and I don't think I left that mm-hmm. town for the longest time. Cause I I because not only could you get Porygon, you could get all the, like the, the strong HMs. Yeah. Like flamethrower, um, thunder, ice beam, ice beam, uh, hyper beam. And then I think you could also go into like, oh, that town was dope because it had yeah. like the eight floor Pokemon mm-hmm. that you could, for the first time, buy stones. Mm-hmm. So like the Leaf Stone, the Thunderstone, all that stuff. So like that just opened up the game because now you can get your your Raichus, your Arcanines, yeah. your uh, your Vile Plumes, um, everything you ever wanted, but only everything. one of the EVs, just only one EV. Which speaking of, same as starters, everybody has their favorite. It's very divisive online. Yes. Who is your choice? So my choice was Vaporeon. Okay. Not because I liked it, mm-hmm. but because I needed... <laughs> the internet is going to flame you for this. I, I know. I know. I needed a Pokemon that... Like, I needed a water Pokemon. Yeah. And then I needed a... Later on, he became, like, my HM mm-hmm. surf slave. So that that was my... That's the reason. But I mm-hmm. love Jolteon. Okay. Jolteon is my boy. I think, yeah, Jolteon was always my favorite just because he looked cool, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, Spiky Boy. Also, I'm pretty sure, like, my brain was just, like, yellow spiky hair. Okay, he's a Super Saiyan. Yeah. That's that's cool enough. But I think we can all agree, nobody likes Flareon. No one likes Flareon. I will die on this hill and then come back to life as a zombie to die again because Flareon is terrible. Do you know who did pick Flareon? Mm. Our same buddy that picked Bulbasaur and, uh, and Beedrill. So his team right now is Bulbasaur, Beedrill, and Flareon. I so much respect has been and, lost. and probably still a Wigglytuff. Yeah, probably. Um, at that time, though, if you did not start the game mm-hmm. with a Charmander, yeah, 
Flareon was your best fire choice. Yeah, because I mean, like you're getting if you get the Growlithe, yeah, you you just have a Growlithe. You have like a you're, you're not like getting the Firestone. Like if you let's say you get the Eevee, you have a Growlithe, and you're like, I have the choice. I'm probably going to go Flareon. Like once right. I get the Firestone. And here's the other thing that a lot of people didn't realize playing the game originally. Mm-hmm. If you did get a Growlithe, I mean, obviously the first thing you do is you Firestone that into an Arcanine. Yeah. Arcanine does not learn fire attacks. Mm-hmm. Like you have to level up a, a Growlithe to like level 49 or something like that for him to learn flamethrower. And then you can evolve him into an Arcanine. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you have to teach him flamethrower with the TM, yeah. which is like sucks. Cause the only way to get flamethrower at the time is either spend a lot of money in the, the Mart or mm-hmm. win it in the casino. And neither mm-hmm. of them were really easy to do at the time. Yeah. Um, unless you accidentally stumbled into the nugget road trick, yeah. but, uh, but um, back to one of because I just remembered. So this isn't necessarily a one of, but you get the choice, which just like everything else in the game, fossil Pokemon. Yes. I don't think I know a single person that didn't get Kabuto. I don't know, say you can't I do know a single right person. Mm. Yep. We need to have an interview or an intervention. Intervention. Yeah. <laughs> intervention view with him. <laughs> uh, I also don't think he ever used the legendary. Yeah. I, oh my God. So I uh, Side story. I was okay. also thinking, what if I just got a tattoo of a ratatat? Okay. I'm because then it would be my ratatat tat. So after you choose your fossil Pokemon, which is you're going to get Kabutops. Yeah. Um, unless, well, if you were a kid and you didn't know what was what, yeah, you just picked whatever sounded cool and you hoped for the best at, um, sell it or cinnabar mm-hmm. I, I think my original playthrough i did get ammonite mm-hmm. just because i didn't know the fossil like does look cooler yeah 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 the helix fossil i don't remember what kabuto's was dome dome yeah yeah that sounds right um so i think i did get helix mm-hmm. and got my ammonite evolved him into an amistar mm-hmm. and then just said i don't want to use cthulhu anymore yeah so i got rid of him I always um, remember feeling like really slighted by the guy after battling. He's like, fine, well, I'll take this. I was like, no, I beat you. I get both of them. I get both of them. I get both of them. I already got stuck in this I don't cave. even care that you found them. I snuck up behind you, challenged you to a battle. Mm-hmm. And, you know, even though you're nice enough to give me one of them for free, mm-hmm. like, I've already proven I can beat yeah. you. But so. at least everyone got the old Amber. Aerodactyl was yeah, dope. Aerodactyl was dope. But I never used him. Because I had Charizard, and I was like, I don't need a flying Pokemon. He knows fly. I can just no. no Charizard him. didn't know fly. You cannot teach Charizard fly. You couldn't teach Charizard. Fly? I'm pretty sure you couldn't teach okay. Charizard fly. We'll I remember being like one. pissed because he had wings, and I was mm-hmm. like, Why can't I teach him char- fly? But you can teach Dodrio fly. It's true. The fastest Pokemon in the game still. Yeah, probably Dodrio. Dodrio. But we had Dragonite. No, so that's all that matters. I, we had, or maybe you could. I'm pretty I don't sure remember, you could teach him fly, but you couldn't yeah. teach him dragon a type. Types. I don't remember Pidgeot being in my final six, and he was like the only flying Pokemon besides Charizard Duro. can actually learn fly in Pokemon Yellow and Stadium, but not Pokemon Red and Blue. Hot damn. Fact check. All right, so I did have a Pidgeot. No, I was stupid. I taught a legendary bird fly. I had Zapdos that knew fly. Eh, I That's mean, what I did. You use Zapdos for thunder. Yes. So I mean, you got three slots. You can. You can do you <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Um, and then uh, the one of the other choices you had though was Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee, mm-hmm. and I I always loved Hitmonchan because yeah. you raised him one level and he learned Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch. Yep. And so I was like, all right, well that just the, knocks out everything. three of my categories. Yeah. So I don't even need to like worry about shit at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, but you went with Lee, right? Yeah. Okay. And then same thing as like all the colors. Like I think I was in middle school when I was like, oh, it's just Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. Yeah. Like that was just over my head. Yeah. There's so much localization that happened that we're just like, oh, it got lost on me. See, I I got the Hitman Chan being Jackie Chan thing at the time. Mm -hmm. No idea who Bruce Lee was as like a child. No. I think I I figured that out like five years later. Mm -hmm. And we're just like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense now. Um, but I mean, I, it I think that was it though, as far as like, I mean, obviously the legendaries were one offs. Yeah. I think um, like what really tested people like at school who I was like really impressed with or like crazy things were people that got through the safari zone and mm-hmm. got everything like Kangaskhan Chansey. was really hard oh to get Chansey because you had to like, so 
if I remember correctly, you get a certain number of steps or like a time limit. When you hit the steps in game, they're like, okay, Safari game's over, you're out. But to yeah. get Kangaskhan, you had to like maneuver it very specifically to where you had enough steps and you had to like move around in the square so you didn't You, you had it. to stand still yeah. and just look different directions. Yeah. You couldn't move. Mm-hmm. And I think it was Kangaskhan and Chansey were in the farthest yep. reaching of the Safari Zone. And I think you needed Surf mm-hmm. to do it because you got Surf in the Safari Zone. Yep. So there was no way to go through Safari Zone, get Surf, and then get a ca- to the part where mm-hmm. Kangaskhan and Chansey were. So then you had to re-go into the Safari Zone. Same thing with like Dratini. You had to, to fish oh, there or surf Dratini. there. Like that's where the game got hard with everything. Dude, Safari Zone was the hardest mm-hmm. part of that game. Like easily. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you're and like a, yeah. Scyther and Pinsir, like they were the, the variants that were in there too. I'm still bitter that when we were children, you got Pokemon Red, I got Pokemon Blue. I My variant or exclusive is Pinsir. Yeah. I hate that Pokemon with a burning passion. Dude, I love Scyther. Scyther's just the best. I, I think they kind of did him dirty with Scizor. Like, I love Scizor, yeah. but they gave him like little like rounded off claws. No, nah, it's great. And, mm, Everything about Scizor is great. Mega Scizor I like. Yes, he looks like a ninja. Yeah, he looks dope. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think, what were the other variants? I, it was Machop so, and it's. G- I, I looked at this, I think it was like. Arbok was Pokemon Red, oh, yeah. and I think Growlithe Weezing. was in one of them. Yeah, Growlithe. Yeah, was I think variant. like Red got Arbok, Blue got Weezing, you got Growlithe, I got like Meowth. There were some weird variants. Yeah. Um, but I know the main defining factor was Pinsir and uh, Scyther. Yeah, and Magmar didn't Magmar have a? It was Magmar an and Electabuzz. Yes, yeah. Magmar and Electabuzz. Mm-hmm. And I think I, I was mad about that because I had Magmar and you had Electabuzz mm-hmm. and Pokemon Blue. But then I was like, well, I'll just trade you a, a Scyther. Mm-hmm. And, and the world was good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where, where do we even go from there? There. It's, I okay, mean, so we, we got one of us. Yeah, we got that. We we beat Koga, which is one of the most annoying mm-hmm. gym leaders ever because everything you touch is poisoned. Yep. Um, you got your Safari Zone. You go and get Strength. Strength's the, strength is down there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is the only reason to use him a champ because that was dope. Yeah. Yeah. There wasn't like an HM sleeve in the first one, was there? Not really. Cause like the attacks were kind of useful. Like, I mean, they weren't like weak or anything like that, but like you didn't really have a choice. Right. With having like a, just a dedicated Pokemon on your team. So I don't think like at the time, all of them could learn the majority. Mm-hmm. Like you, it was, you probably had to take three or four slots up. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Cause I remember your team pretty much became like dictated by the HMs. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why. Yeah, it was so good to like have like Blast always the starter because you're like, well, I got the starter. Surf is a good attack surf. anyway. I'm just going to take strength. it. Yeah, and strength. And strength. I don't know what else. And then I mean, well, I guess the Elite Four, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, you you beat Daddy Giovanni, mm-hmm. who, you know, oh, that was something else I I did for a long time. I thought there was a way to get into the Viridian Gym. Yeah. Like right off the bat. Mm-hmm. I probably spent a whole day running around Viridian City trying to get into that gym, not realizing that it had to be like the eighth gym you fought. Um, and then uh, Victory Road, like that cave, I remember sucking yeah. to get through. Um, it was hard. And if yeah. you're anything like, you know, a kid in a game, like you just see items, you buy all of them. So like by the time you get to the end of the game, you, you spend all your polka dollars. You're like, oh. I keep dying against all these trainers mm-hmm. and I have nothing and I'm losing all of my money. So you just had to grind and grind and grind and grind. Well, I mean, by then, Missingno was the thing. Yeah. So Missingno, I had infinite revives, infinite master mm-hmm. balls, infinite rare candies. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, that was it. But okay. So, yeah. so we're at, we're at the elite four. What is your, mm-hmm. what is your team of six? So assuming I still had, you know, my starter, I'm using Charizard most of the time. Uh, it's usually Charizard. Um, Gyarados was yeah. probably in yeah. there. Um, I had my Evolution. If I could catch it, it was going to be um, a Dratini. But mm-hmm. I think at that point, I just, I got lost. So those three. So Charizard, Gyarados um, what was my third one, I said. Evolution. The Evolution. Yep. Um, I did love Golem a lot mm-hmm. just because I, I thought he was dope. I thought the trade Pokemon were really good. Um, Gengar and then Aerodactyl. Okay. I can respect that. 
but yeah, I didn't like using the legendary birds. I don't know why. I used Zapdos because I know I had my Charizard. I had Zapdos. I had Gengar. I think I was still using my Vaporeon. Mm-hmm. Um, who else did I have? I think Dragonite and I don't remember my sixth. I know for a while I had like this weird love obsession with Golduck mm-hmm. because I was just like, I, I think he looks so cool. Um, oh, Snorlax. Snorlax was my oh, last Of one. course, yeah. Because it's Snorlax. You yeah. can't not use it. Yeah, I, like, I think you're just so mad that he was blocking your path so long. It's like, I'm just going to use you because you made my life a right. living hell. Right. Yeah. And like nothing could kill him. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, beating Lorelei sucked. The <laughs> ice one. Beating Agatha sucked. Like, the original Elite mm-hmm. Force sucked. Yep. Bruno didn't give me any trouble because it's just, like, fly. Yeah. Just use fly with everything. Yeah, he was... Luckily, by that point, mm-hmm. like, everything kills rock and fighting. Yeah. It's... He was, like, a nice, like, reprieve. Mm-hmm. But then you get the Lance, who's, like, three Dragonites and Aerodactyl and the yeah. Charizard, and you're like, how am I supposed to beat this? Like... I remember on one of our, like, family road trips, I, like, I had lost to the Elite Force so many times... That my blast toys had leveled up so much just from getting to you know lands yeah. that I was like, I'm just gonna he's level ninety. I'm just gonna keep using hydro pump. But I remember the hydro pump animations just it's the three water yeah. spouts like, <laughs> and it would just go up. And I was like, I'm tired of seeing this, but I need to beat him because it's the only Pokemon mm-hmm. that can do damage. Yep. Oh, uh, I think uh, what I ended up having to do is bringing in Lapras just uh-huh. because Ice Beam. Yeah, like had to do it. Um, I think between that and then my Vaporeon having Ice Beam. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, how pissed were you when you finally beat Lance only to find out Gary was waiting right there, right there. Yeah. 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 That was, um, I, I don't remember how long it took me to beat Pokemon. It was probably a half a year on my, like my initial run. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. And, and, but it was so cool. Cause like, that was a game that you kept playing. Yeah. Like after you beat it. Cause Mm -hmm. a lot of games now, like I, I just massively lose interest in if i beat the main storyline mm-hmm. like like I, I hate to say it, tears of the kingdom i haven't even beaten yet because there's like so much shit i just lost interest um but with pokemon like after i beat the game i wanted to catch all 150 yeah. like and i think that took me and now another solid mm-hmm. two months at least i mean just alone like i just remembered back in the day you had to change the boxes and save every time I think that probably took the most time. Like, okay, yeah. box one has 30 Pokemon in. I got to change box two, save for 45 seconds, transfer over. <laughs> yep. Dang it. I forgot that box is also full, so I got to move to the next one. Mm-hmm. Oh, good times. Oh, great. Good but times. one once again, like this game was running on like a microchip that could power like barely like a clock at this point in time. Yeah. And it's like one of the best games in our life that we still remember. Like, I don't know a single person that grew up with Pokemon that doesn't have like fond memories of it. Like yeah. no one I talked to is like, Oh yeah. Like I liked the game as a kid, but like it's baby stuff. Now I don't like it. Like, right. Somebody has a story. They have a favorite starter still. They have some kind of like thing they're going to gush over. It's just, I think it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, um, oh, I was going to say something. I don't remember what it was. I don't know. Yeah. But with that, uh, lost our train of thought. So yeah. I guess you're going to have to follow up next episode when we get it back. Yep. See if we got your memories back. But uh, until then, thank you for uh, playing Pokemon Red and Blue. Have a good one, guys. See you next week. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to join us here every Thursday on YouTube and Spotify as we drop new episodes of that good shit. And don't forget to give us a follow on Instagram and TikTok for some solid filler content to get you through the week at Not Mike, Not Pat. You should be watching.